everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and today I am so excited to be bringing you my Beauty A to Z update. I am so excited that it's been a month since I've started this project and I'm so excited at the progress I've made. I don't have anything rolling out, but I'm really excited. I have some awesome progress to show you guys, so let's just get on right into it. Before I show you the uh, the progress on these products, I would just like to remind you that this project is a Fantastic Ladies collab. I will have the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group in the description box if you are ever interested in joining. I highly recommend you do. It's a lot of fun over there. And this project was created by Jessica and Amanda, and I will have both of those lovely ladies in the description box as well. So th for this project, basically what you do is you connect one makeup or beauty item whatever you would like so you connect each one to each letter of the alphabet so that is 26 products that i have sitting before me right now so it's definitely nerve-wracking but over the last month it's actually been a lot of fun and i've been having a lot of fun using these products and a lot of and i'm really excited i'm just super excited to show the progress I currently do not have anything rolling out, but I am getting super close on a few of these products. So hopefully in the coming couple of months, I will definitely start slowly rolling things out. So let me show you the progress. So starting with the letter A, I have my Luna Magic Blush in the shade Aaliyah. This is what it looks like. It doesn't look like I made much, I've only used this three times. So I, it definitely doesn't look like I've used it, but I, I'm, kind of, I'm using it today. It's very sheared out, but I love, love, love this product. Get a swatch. That's what it looks like. It's super, super pretty. I didn't think I would like this kind of blush, but it's actually one of my favorites. So if I didn't mention it, I forgot to mention, in my intro I mentioned this, my goal, my goals for all these products, if it is a liquid product, cream product, anything that's, you know, a spray, liquid, cream, anything like that, the goal is going to be to completely finish it, and if it's a powder product, like the blush, the goal is solely to hit pan. So, forgot to mention that. But I just wanted to throw that in really quick. For the letter B, I have my e.l.f. Uh, liquid metallic eyeshadow in bling bling. I cannot make a new mark on it because I've only used it once and I barely, I only used like the tiniest little bit of it. So I'm upset that I didn't really actually get to reach for this, but all of the looks I've done didn't really call for a cool toned silver eyeshadow. So that's, I really need to jump into this because I have quite a bit of windowing in there so I don't think I have too much left so the sooner I can roll this out the better. For the letter C I have my IT Cosmetics Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep Night Cream. It's just this little sample size and I have used this nine times and that's all I got left. I don't know if you can see in there but I have been, whenever I go to use this, my finger has been touching the bottom. So hopefully I'm only like a week's worth away from being done with this. I am so, I love this stuff. I don't know how I feel about the lavender scent that comes with this product, but but like the quality of it, I, I actually really enjoy this. So this should be an empty for next month, which makes me really, really excited. For the letter D, I have my Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter in Daybreak Glimmer. I have used this seven times this month. And I don't, and all I can really see, there's been some disturbance in the pan near the center. The pattern is starting to wear off. I really, really like this highlighter. It's very bright and shiny, and this has been really pairing well. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's been really pairing well with my Pan That palette, palette, so whatever looks I use my Pan That palette, I will usually use this as my cheek highlight, or every once in a while it'll actually be my inner corner highlight since my Pan That palette does not have an inner corner highlight. So I've been really enjoying this product and I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit pan on it, but 
any progress is good progress in my eyes. For the letter E, I have my CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. I have used this 12 times this last month. There's not really a way for me to be able to show you any progress. I don't currently weigh, but here's the wand. I love this mascara. I primarily use it on my on my lower lashes, but today I have it on both my lower and uppers, which I really like. I it it's a lot more voluminizing for me, so I really really enjoy this mascara and it's chugging along, but hopefully in the next couple months I should be able to have this done so that I can get it out. It is very old, so I would love to be able to get this out of my collection. For the letter F, I have my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. I have used this twice, so there's not really a way for me to be able to show you any progress, but there's still plenty, plenty of stuff in the tube, plenty of stuff that comes out on the wand. That's what it looks like. It's just a nice, nice nude color. I really like this on no um I would really like to like use this more on like no makeup days or on light makeup days and just start getting into wearing gloss more cuz I'm still not the biggest gloss wearer. I'm slowly trying to get my way back into it, but hopefully I should be able to try to get more use on this and focus more on this. For the letter G, I have my Elf Face Duo in Guava. And this is what it currently looks like. There's not not much change to it. I've used the blush. I've used the blush three times. You can't. It's really hard to tell with the lighting I have, but there's some brush. There's a little bit of disturbance in the pan, and I've used the highlighter once. So there's definitely some disturbance, but that could be from. That could be been could have been from prior use. Let me get you some swatches. I've, I've learned that I really, really like this highlighter. The blush, not as much because the blush is just so hard pressed and so sheer that I really have to build it up. So that's, that's the highlighter right there and then right below it is the blush. So my goal is to hit pan on both of these. Um, after using it this month, I can feel confident that if I focus in on that highlighter, I can definitely hit pan on it by the end of the year, but I'm not sure about that blush. So, but we shall definitely see over the course of the year. For the letter H, I have my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. So, this is, I love this primer. I have used it seven times, and I've only made that much progress. I don't know. I thought I used more than that, but apparently seven uses does not constitute a lot. I do only use one pump of it, like, you know, just slowly press on the pump once and that's all the product that I need for my entire face. So that could contribute to it, but I really need to get, I really need to get a moving on this. I thought this would be a gimme product, but if that's all I'm getting in seven uses, I really got to get a hold on this if I want to finish it by the end of the year so we'll so definitely see on that. Here's another product I'm really really excited for. This is for the letter I. It's my Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer. I don't, you, uh, you, you can definitely see there's windowing going on in there but when I, and it's getting to a point where I really need to pull the stopper out because when I pull the wand out of the thing, out of the tubing, there's like nothing on it. I don't know if you guys can see in there. There's like not, not much left. I really, I've never pulled a stopper out before. So I'm like nervous to do so. So, but I just need to buy a pair of tweezers or something. Or if you know a good way on how to pull stoppers out of products, let me know because I really need to do that. If I can't seem to do that, then I'll just use as much as I can over the next month and then probably call this an empty because it, I can barely get one use out of it anymore with the stopper in. So I would like to get as much product as I can, but if not, this should be out by next month. And if I didn't mention it before, 
I used uh, I used this concealer eight times this last month, so definitely quite the use, and it definitely feels very light. So yeah. For the letter J, I have my ColourPop Luxe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Just Imagine. I This is another one I am not too proud of. I've only used this once, even though I love this color. The only thing I've noticed about it is that it is not like a full pigment on the first swipe. So that's what it looks like right there. As you can see, it's like... Kind of as you kind of move the product around, it really like shears out. So I'm not the hugest fan of that. So I haven't been really, like I've used this once, had that happen to me and I just haven't really been able to draw to it again. So I really got to try to get it just kind of, you know, work with it. It's definitely not an easy product to use. So I just got to work with it and hopefully I should be able to try to have this done at least by the end of the year. We'll certainly hope, but who knows. For the letter K, I have my K Voss Lip Potion. I only used this four times this month, and I am, like, I think when I learned about, like, having to keep track on how often I'm using things, I've been kind of drawn away from using those things because of, like, trying to remember it. I was like, oh, right, I use this. I need to write this down. So I haven't been drawn, I used to use this almost every single night, and I've only used this four times this last month. I did misplace it for maybe a week, but I really gotta just get a hold, get a hold of myself here and get some more use on this. Because I would love to be able to have this done by the end of the month, but I already, or the end of the year, the English. But I really hope to be able to get this out hopefully by the end of the year. It does take only the littlest bit to do both lips without them see feeling overly like covered by lip masks. So we'll see, we'll definitely see on that. Next for the letter L, I have my Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I love, love, love this blush. I have used it three times this last month, which is definitely could have been a lot more, but I have so many other blushes I gotta get through. This is Luminoso right here. It can, gives such a nice glow. I love it so much. Um, my goal is to hit pan. I don't think I'm gonna do that, but I'm certainly gonna try. I know it will take, I know it normally would take people like well over a hundred uses to hit pan on this product, especially because it's a dome, it's a dome shape. So, we'll definitely see. The goal is to hit pan, but if that doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But that means it's at least I'll get to a year's worth out of it. So, that will always be nice. For the letter M, I have my Blistex lip, Medicated Lip Balm. I have used this eight times this last month. And I'll pop a picture up of the paper markings on it because... I haven't marked it yet and I need to do that, but this is, I definitely, it's definitely haven't been a whole lot of use. I don't want to pull it all the way out just in case, because I've had times where they will not go back in and I'd rather not do that. I'd rather keep this the way it is, but I'll put it, I'll make sure that you'll see plenty of markings on this product. I really like this product. It's really nice for um, making my lips feel a little bit better before putting on makeup, after putting on makeup. If my f lips feel like super like dry and irritated, if I put this on, that like stinging, tingly feeling is sometimes just the best feeling in the world. So I've been enjoying this. I thought I'd use it more, but I still got the whole year. So... For the letter N, I have my e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipstick in the shade Nectar. This is what it's looking like. I have used this product twice this last month, which is definitely not as much as I thought, but I have so many lip products that I'm working on that I just don't have time for some of these, and this, especially like ones like this one that are the more like 
warm tone nudie brown colors are not really the colors I gravitate towards right now. This is what it looks like right here. It's a really, really pretty shade. I really, really like this, but I don't have enough to make a new mark. <laughs> so it looks basically exactly the same. So hopefully I can get more use at this. Hope probably more in the fall time. I'll definitely get lots more use on this, but we'll just keep chugging away at it and see what we do. For the letter O, I have my Orange Vanilla Twist Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works. I have used this eight times in the last month and I have, I've made a little bit of progress. I mean, is it enough progress to think that I'm going to finish this the entire year? No, but honestly, I was expecting there to be like very little progress, but I go liberally with this, with these fragrance things. So hopefully, especially in the summertime, I hopefully will get lots of progress on this. So I really love this set and I'm so happy it's in this project. For the letter P, I have my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I am super duper excited about this one. I'll make sure that all of the, all of these products will have pictures of what they looked like last month, but uh, I am super excited about this. As you can see, I have hit side jar, side pan? So what did you guys call it side pan or side side jar? You guys choose side pan or side jar whatever you want to call it but I am super duper excited that I have hit the side of the container and I'm just slowly making my way around at this point but oh my gosh I can't believe I am this close to finishing this primer I have had this forever and it's makes and this makes me so happy so I know I still got at least a couple maybe at least two more months worth in here but we'll definitely see at next month on where I'm at but we hit side jar. Oh my god, this ma that makes me so happy. I'm so happy that I've hit side jar and I can't wait to have this out. So, making steady, steady, steady progress. I use this 13 times. I keep forgetting to put the num to tell you the number of uses. I'm going to get a hold of myself one of these days. I'm still so new at this, <laughs> at project panning and making videos that I'm forgetting things all of the time. So... I mean, if you guys are having fun, I'm having fun. Keep going at it. <laughs> For the letter Q, I have this, uh, my Revlon Super Lustrous The Gloss, and this is in the shade Rose Quartz. I have used this twice. <laughs> twice, yeah. I have my numbers written on my computer. But I have used this twice, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is like, it, when it settles, it's about right here. I didn't mark it. I don't know if marking, if you should be marking lip glosses. I don't know if they go down like that, but I know that once you take the stopper out, it kind of mixes everything up. So like if I give you guys a swatch, that's what, that's what Rose Quartz looks like. I am wearing this gloss right now. I am learning that I love this, I love this lip gloss. When I'm wearing any sort of pinky lip, I put this on top and I... It just makes me love it that much more, and so I'm, I'm really starting to love this, and I hope that I can get lots more use, and if I can finish it by the end of the year, I will be super happy about that, so we'll definitely see. For the letter R, I have my Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick, and this is in the shade Rebel Rose. Let me get you a swatch. I have also used this one only twice this month. But the two times that I have worn it, there it is, I have learned that I, this, I actually really like this color. I thought I didn't really like this color on me, but I learned that that was a lie. <laughs> so I, this is such like a nice, like natural color for me if I just want something that's not too colorful, but still a bit bold. So I... I'm learning that I really love this lipstick and I'm hoping that I can get lots more use on it in the coming months. For the letter S, I have my Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder and this is in the shade Sunkissed. I have used this 10 times in the last month. Let me see if I can get a swatch. It's a very, very pretty bronzer. Try. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right here. 
such so a pretty bronzer. I am nowhere near pan. I don't know if I will ever hit pan. It still looks fairly the same. The only difference is that the inner uh, the inner decorations look like they're starting to wear out a little bit. But other than that, this looks exactly the same. So will I hit pan? Probably not. But if I can get lots, if I can get relatively close to pan, I'd be happy with that. So just chugging away at this one. So well, if I hit pan, I hit pan. If I don't, I don't. But I'm really happy that I get to be working on this. For the letter T, I have my Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. In the sh and this is in the shade light. This is not light. This is way too dark for me. I have used I have used this five times. I can't make a new mark for it solely because when I look through the container, I can't like it still shows like product all the way up at that line. So I don't know exactly where I am on this, but I know that I have used it and it is definitely a lot lighter than it used to be. But yeah, I know this is way, way too dark for me. I always have to use a super light concealer. I have a super light concealer by ColourPop that I, ha I, I always have to use with this product because it's so dark and that light concealer kind of counteracts it. Like you can see here, like I'm wearing the this tinted hydrator right now and it is so dark that <laughs> even blending it down my neck does nothing because I'm so pasty. That, that's why if I if I seem a little bit more tan, that is not because I go in the sun, because it hasn't been sunny here much lately. But no, it's because I'm wearing this. <laughs> so I do really like the how this wears. I just this is not the right color for me. But I'm gonna keep chugging away at it and keep using it, and I will get this out of my collection. And I might decide to get the the shade. The, uh, I think it's the shade Fair, which is the one lighter than this. And see if that sh if that colors a match, but there's only like seven shades in this line, which is really not that good. So, if and I was like, if I'm pasty and this is and like the shade light is even too dark for me, like really. <laughs> but yeah, I've been really enjoying this, and I really hope I can get it out in the next like three to four months. So we'll definitely see. For the letter U, I have my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I have been u loving this product. I have used it 14 times. I use this every single time I do my eyeshadow. So there's the wand. I don't really have a way of, um, I don't really have a way of like seeing progress in here because with the wand, I can't like just normally like squeeze it out. So I guess I just keep chugging away at it until I start noticing that less and less products going on the wand. So we'll, just keep chugging away at it and hopefully I should have it done by the end of the year. For the letter V, I have my Vanilla Bean Noel uh, Hand Sanitizer by Bath & Body Works. I know this is not a, technically a beauty product, but I mean, I think I've seen it. If you've ever put a hand sanitizer in a project pan, let me know because I would love to not be alone on this, but I needed some place to put a hand sanitizer and this seemed like the right moment. So I have, uh, I have used this product eight times and I have made that much progress. So I'm actually a lot happier with the progress I've been making on this than I thought I would. I thought I wasn't making a whole lot of progress, but I keep this with me in my purse. So I always use this whenever I feel like I need to when going out, especially like after work when my hands are super, super dry. I like to take this and then take um, a hand cream. So I've been definitely getting my use on this and just slowly chipping away at it and I should be able to have it done by the end of the year. For the letter W, I have my uh, my other fragrance. This is my Winter Candy Apple Fragrance Mist by Bath & Body Works. I have used this six times in the last month and I have made that much progress. I love, love, love this scent and I'm, surpri I'm really surprised that I used the orange one more and didn't make it nearly as, prog as much progress as this one, but I've only used this six times and there's like a buttload of progress. I don't know if it's because the straw in here is a lot thicker so a lot more comes out. That's probably why but I, but with this amount of progress hopefully I should be able to have this done by the end of the year so I'm really excited about it. For the letter X I have my NYX Lingerie XXL liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Expose Me. 
and I have been loving this project. I've used it three times, and it's the one I'm currently wearing right now. I love, love, love this lipstick. It is so comfortable. I love the color. There it is. Get the lid back on. <laughs> there, there it is right there. I love this color. It is so pretty. And um, I know I'm nowhere near done with it, and there's no way for me to see through the packaging. So hopefully I should, hopefully I can have this done by the end of the year, but we'll, I'll just keep, keep chipping away at it and we'll see. For the letter Y, I have my Essence Lip Liner. I took the lid off already. This is my Essence Lip Liner in You and Me Ship. I'll have another photo of the paper markings on here, but that's what it looks like. I have used this twice in the last month which I was surprised that I even got any use on it at all. So I just about, that's about as much as we have left. I was surprised I got any use on this at all. I, I think I didn't start using it until maybe like three, four days ago. I'm, out, I'm wearing this right now along with the NYX, uh, the NYX uh, lingerie lipstick. And I've learned that like this along with like the NYX lipstick or this along with um, one of my lipsticks in my... I think it's in my deck of panning one, the NYX uh, matte, uh, matte lip cream, I believe. I love it so pretty. Mine's like, it's wearing out a little bit from all the talking, but I'm I'm actually, this, lips, this lip liner is starting to grow on me. I'm not a lip liner girl, but it's starting to grow on me and I'm really liking it. Let me give you guys a swatch really quick. There it is, right there. Just a nice, nice bold matte red colors. So it's really nice. I really like it, and hopefully I could have this done by the end of the year. But we'll, we'll see if I can do that. And finally, we have reached letter Z, and the letter Z is my one eyeshadow in this project. It's from the the Saharan by Juvia's place, and it's the shade Zoya. I have used this four times in the last month, and it is right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. If I need to pop a pop picture up that looks better, I will. But that's what it looks like right there. Definitely some disturbance in the pan, but not there. Not really much of a dip forming yet. I love this uh, eyeshadow as um, like an inner corner highlight. That's how I'm wearing it today. And I also really like it along with like the pink. Um, like the pink that I'm wearing from my uh, Pando's eyeshadows and a bunch of like other like pinky cooler toned uh, eyeshadows so I should have no problem hitting pan on this by the end of the year because I love this eyeshadow so much but I have so many other <laughs> I, sh I feel like I have so many other eyeshadows that I'm still trying to get a handle on how to <laughs> manage everything so hopefully I should have this done soon but we'll definitely see and after all that, that is all 26 products done. I am super excited about some of the, about all the progress I've made, even the ones with little to no progress. Um, my goals for the month, I really, really want to uh, try to finish my putty primer because I would love to try to get this out as soon as possible. I feel super, super close. I'd love to uh, be able to get that done. Um, I would really want to make more progress on this because this is not a scent that I normally wear in the summer so the more damage I can get done on this the better before it gets into the summer months and then I would have to wait until the end of the year. Um, is there any other ones that I should that I have major goals on? I think the, uh, oh yeah, I want to I'm going to pull the stopper on this, whether it wants to be pulled or not, <laughs> and I will get as much product, and this is my one for sure will be done next month, which makes me really excited for the next month update, so I'm really excited. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, I really hope you like and you subscribe to the channel and, jo and join along as we do all this panning fun together, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.